How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. So, uh, we've got one more group of side stories to worry about. Two more, apparently. Wait, what? we got two more? Reflection and self love Oh. Okay. Um, I thought we only had one more, but I guess not. But let's check out this. Apparently we got mail by from someone named Ive Laster. What kind of name is that? I'm on leave the rest of the week. Contact Ravi if you if you need to schedule server time. But I expect my job to run for a few days since we've collected so much data this week. How about we rearrange a meeting to discuss the results when I return? That's it. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and start reflection side story number. Holy crap! One, two, three, four, five. There are six overall, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's start reflection. See how far we can get, and then next time we'll do part two of reflection. Am I bothering you? Hmm. No. Okay, just checking. <laughs> it's hard to tell since you always look so into it when you're reading. It makes me scared to interrupt. Well, it's within my expectations to be interrupted when I read here. It's mainly when I'm by myself that I don't like it. Well, that's, those are pretty good priorities to, st to set up. Mm, that makes sense. I guess if you're here in the first place, then you're most more ready to socialize, even if it takes a little bit of prodding. It's not so bad to be social if I let others do the work. <laughs> okay. So, it can be healthy to put myself in a social environment every now and then. It's mostly difficult when I don't know anyone, or there are too many people, or everyone is being too silly for me to keep up with. Sayori, maybe? Yuri glances across the room at Sayori and Natsuki. Sayori has her head cocked back and her mouth open. Why? Trying to catch a pieces of a cookie that Natsuki is lobbing into the air. Okay. But the pieces keep bouncing off her face and hitting the floor. Good job. Maybe I should say something. No need. They just ran out of cookies. What a waste. They've really become good friends, haven't they? I'm happy. Sayori seems particularly good at making that happen. But the two of them are both on the energetic side. Pink box alert. Okay. So I suppose it works out well. Did I just mix Monica and Yuri? Monurica? Munir? Manyurka? Manyurki? <laughs> we're, we're gonna call this duo Manyurki. <laughs> that sounds so stupid, but I don't care. Yeah, come to think of it, you and I haven't had many chances to talk one-on-one, -on -one, have we? Though, that may be particularly my fault, since I'm supposed to be the one engaging club members. Not at all. I've probably formed a habit of drawing minimal attention to myself. The responsibility is equally on me. At least to display some op openness to engage. Well, what about during times like lunch? Do you meet up with friends? I... 
I, I just read. Oh. But I like it that way. It feels nice to be carried off again after a morning of crosses. Hmm. Do you always read fantasy? Oh, not always. I'm pretty sure with a canon story, she's actually reading like a horror mystery. I think. I never understood what she was reading, to be honest. The... Something of Markov, I forget what it's called. I suppose it's all I've read recently, but only because I'm in the middle of this series. There are still two more books after this one. Holy crap! I guess those long books suit you well. Since you spent so much time reading. Well, fantasy may be my favorite, but after that, I'm more or less indiscriminate to genres. I'll read anything without depth and maturity. Oh yeah? Even like romance? Oh boy. W well, there are a lot of books that have elements of romance in them. That, yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, come on, Yuri. You know what I mean. Looks like, I think what you're talking about, Monica, are IRL, let's, let's give some, um, what was it? I think a good example of what she's talking about, one would be Pride and Prejudice. Great book, horrible movie, in my opinion. But that's the most case with books adapted into films. Um, what's another good example? Is it called The Letter? Ooh. There's one I'm thinking of, but I can't remember what... I can't remember what it's called. I don't know. It's a guilty pleasure of mine, so I won't tell anyone if you do too. Maybe more when I was in middle school. Okay. Well, you know what? That's fine. I mean, I was really lonely and people were mean to me a lot. So it just... It kind of felt like... Please don't make me think about the past. <laughs> Sorry. I just got super cute. Curious, you know. We should totally pick out a romance novel to read. That would be so much fun. Ah, uh, boy. Monyurki is being released. Absolutely not. Really? Even if it was just between us? Try asking someone who has no shame, like Natsuki. Whoa. Ouch, yeah. Uh, sorry, I swear I didn't mean that. Well, I guess it was my fault for pressing you. I'm like that for, for things in my past, too. You know, things I feel too embarrassed to re-experience. Isn't that almost anybody? There's nothing wrong with growing out of things. It happens to everyone. For instance, Natsuki's interest in manga reminds me quite a bit of how intense I used to be about my own interests. It makes me think that she'll likely grow out of it too. She probably will, yeah. Hey, are you talking about me? Oh boy. Um, no, we were just... Oh, we were just talking about how our interests have changed over the years. When did you get into manga, Natsuki? Mm, like a couple years ago, I guess. I was already sort of into it before that, but I wasn't really going hard until then. Oh yeah? What was it that inspired you to get more into it? I don't know. <laughs> I guess... Let me think. It was after I discovered a series that I really liked. Yeah, I was just like, 
really fed up with a lot of things. So they got super into this one series that I really related to. You know what, that makes a lot of sense. Guess I had an empty face where I just hated everyone around me and wanted to be by myself. <laughs> Ooh, that's, I don't like that statement. Hey, kind of like Yuri. Ooh. Monica? <laughs> Sorry. That's completely wrong. So, it's still cool that you both really found your thing. They're almost like opposites, but it sounds like they helped you a lot through hard times. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. I get why she would say, like, nah, okay, I kind of get why she would say, like, Yuri. I can understand why it would be taken bad, but I get why she would say it. You know it! Oops. I did not mean to do that, I swear. Or that one. Or that one. I'm totally not. <laughs> okay, the first one was unintentional. But, okay, fine. You want to know the truth? I don't want to say it. <laughs> Whoa, what the heck? Is that book even bigger than the last one you were reading? Uh, um, it's technically slightly longer, but not by very much. How high do you think it would go if we stacked up the whole series? <laughs> oh, that's an interesting question. Natsuki estimates by holding her hand high above her head, sizing up an immense... Oh, jeez. I should get one of those mangas that's like 50 volumes long so that I can say I've read more than you. <laughs> okay, that is actually... That's clever. Not that I have the money for that. Please, that would hardly count when your books only have a few words per page. I know. I was just joking. I can never actually read books like yours. It's too boring for me. Everybody has their own opinions. Yuri shoots a glare at... Oh, come on, Yuri. It's not boring. She said for her. There's a reason she said for her. Oh, no. Not this again. No, I said for me, not for you. I can have my own opinion. I just think it's too convoluted. Sayuri, are those from the floor? <laughs> Sayori's eating cookies, isn't she? <laughs> Gross! Also, wash your hands before touching any of my books. But my hands are dirty! I'm sorry, Pink Fox. You're not in here, so... Just do it. The oils are there even if you can't see them. Fine! <laughs> Sayori trots out the door and Natsuki follows. Yuri. Yuri, you look a little you look a little upset. What kind of nerve does she have to call my hobby boring? That's not what oh my gosh. <sighs> I'm going to say this right now. Misinterpretation is the worst thing on the planet. Well, she did correct herself. Hardly. She was so condescending. I don't mind if she thinks it's not for her. But th that's basically what she was saying, Yuri. I already understand that it's not for everyone. She said it was boring. For her. Emphasis on for her. She would not enjoy it. It's too much for her to handle. Wow, Yuri. But she knows well how much these mean to me. So how about just leaving me alone instead of needlessly telling me the things you hate about me? 
That's not what she was doing at all. I'm sorry, Yuri. You may be right. This won't be the last time people have strong feelings about what they like and don't like. Especially in a literature club. So I should figure out how to mediate discussions to keep them positive and constructive. That's a good idea. For the record, I've always been impressed by the level of creativity in your books. And also your ability to get through them so quickly. Oh boy. The monarchy. The monarchy is back. Oh gosh. Monyurki. The Monyurki. The Monyurka? I don't know. We're gonna go with Monyurka. Monyurki? Monyurkia? Monyurkia. Monyurkia. Monyurka. It's back. Thank you. Okay, well, this is something that I'll have to think about and revisit. I'm sure I can help Natsuki find some common ground with you. Common ground isn't necessary. I just wish to be respected. Then, that then, that then. Either way, I will do my best. I'm skeptical when it comes to Natsuki. I trust you, Monica, but I'm skeptical. Oh boy. Wait, is that it? Oh, no. Okay. I almost went down an accent again. The Monyurki! The Monyurkia is having. I don't even. I think I originally called it Monyurki. Monyurka is what I should have said. I don't know. We're going to stick with the original, though. On your key. Okay, everyone. I almost went with a different accent on that. We have a special club meeting today. As you know, the Literature Club is a place where we get to share things that we're really passionate about. But that also means we should be mindful of how we respond to each other's feelings. We have a chance to turn our differences into positive energy for each other. Aren't you being a little dramatic about this? This is important to me. Oh, sorry, I just feel like I'm being accused of something. No. No, I'm not accusing anyone of anything. I'm sorry if I came off that way. But our conversation yesterday made me reflect on the power of language. Oh, I get what Monica's trying to say. Why not just each try to make their own poem on how they feel? That might help, don't you think? And I thought it would be a good topic for the literature club, don't you think? I'm sure we're going to have differences in opinion a lot. So I need to make sure we're prepared to keep a positive atmosphere. Oh, you know what? That's fair. I know I heard what she told asked me wrong. She's, she asked me if I was high, but I heard, am I a pie? I'm like, you are a pie. I is not pie. Yeah, you are. I mean, I'll <laughs> have In the words of Natsuki... If you say so. I can't scooch it. Sit on my... Ugh. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> oh, crap. Controller. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Everything's going to hell. <laughs> Blame him. But... Okay, miss. 20 minutes late. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was, was hoping, hoping my mom was something. Yeah. I'm just messing with you. Well, if you say so... A yeah, completely different voice from what I was doing. Yeah, I do it a lot better. Well, to be fair, you are a woman, so... The cool thing about language is that it gives us a lot of different ways to express the same idea or emotion. <sighs> oh, boy. Here. Face microphone. That way we can <laughs> actually not 
worry about sound. Anyway, go ahead. You have a lot of control of how we want the other person to feel when receiving your thoughts. Okay. <laughs> this goes for poetry, narratives, casual conversation, and basically anything. For example, Tylee, what's your favorite food? Oh boy. Uh, I have them organized by category. Should I start with the snacks? You mean full <laughs> meals? Should I quick breakfast? Oh no. Yeah, that, that, that sums it up. Good job, Monica. Okay, how about your favorite fruits? The fizzy cherries! I hope it's not the ones with seeds in them. Those ones suck. Really? I always thought cherries tasted nasty. As I said, depends on the type. What? Cherries are delicious! Whoa, that's a pretty strong reaction. Cherries are nasty! Ah. <laughs> and how does that make you feel? I don't know, sad. Depends on the baby? Yeah. Yeah, I got defensive. See, the reason you had such a strong reaction wasn't just because I don't like cherries. It's because you felt like your opinion was under attack. But that's weird, right? Something like that taste, like taste, is completely subjective. Yeah. Well, when I say something like I think cherries are nasty, I'm using objective language. I'm challenging Sayori's reality that cherries are delicious with my own, which is that cherries are nasty. Wait, hold on. Oh boy. How is that objective? You just said it was only your own opinion. It has to do with the way our brains interpret words. Actually, yeah. Yeah. You're talking about the reality of cherries, right? Not your feelings about them. Fair. Like Sayori? Let's rewind for a second. Pretend I didn't tell you that I think cherries are nasty. Good! <laughs> but what if instead I said, like, I tried cherries and they're it's not the kind of flavor I enjoy. Well, that's fine. That, I mean, that... I know where Monica's going. Monica, I know where you're going with this. This is exactly what Natsuki said earlier, and Yuri took it way the wrong way. As long as you don't call them nasty. Nasty is a nasty word. <laughs> Gee, I wonder where you got that idea. <laughs> Cherries, I'll just talk about my feelings. I already didn't get defensive. But instead of clashing with each other like we received an invitation to talk about our differences, Yuri, you don't need to take notes. I'm not going to quiz you on anything. I. I. know that! Well, that one's me, remember? Oh. I know that. I was just. Mm. Does anyone have any thoughts so far? Yeah, I just feel like I shouldn't have to put all my language through a filter just to protect someone's feelings. Oh boy. Well, you don't have to. The choice is yours and how you want to come across as to other people. Yeah. I'm only suggesting use it as a tool to help you turn your differences into a positive experience rather than an argument. That's not. I mean, it's not a bad idea. Right, Sayori? Whatever you say, cherry hater! <laughs> oh, come on. Sayori, I actually like cherries. I was just saying that to help demonstrate. What the <laughs> heck? <laughs> oh, I've boy. Been duped! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sayori. I'll make it up to you later. Buy her like a cherry pie or something. Ah, eh, close enough. <laughs> you are welcome to do me anytime, my love, beloved president. That statement, what? 
Defy your people's loyalty? How deplorable. Oh, like you would turn down a free Sunday, Yuri. You were certainly a fan of those cupcakes I brought in the other week. That was... I mean... I, I was reading and not keeping track of them. Oh, that's enough. We're getting off topic. So now that we have a gist of it, how about we try it for something more relevant to the club? Like manga, right? Let's try to have a productive discussion about our differences in opinion. Of course he's using manga. This Yuri, is not going to go well. Um... Well, I, I'd rather not, no. Oh, how come? Well, because I don't see how anything productive can come from that. It's just going to start a fight. No, I'll be fine. That's why I'm here to moderate. It's like the last five minutes didn't happen. Let's just have a calm and rational... Discussion. Yeah. <laughs> Calmness and rationality, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me a little more credit. I'm not a child. You don't have to coddle my feelings. I always think it's more respectful to just speak your mind. Respectable? Yuri's expression changes at that word. Oh, boy. As Monica recalls, being respected was the crux of the matter for Yuri. Well, the point of the exercise isn't exactly like... It's fine. I have nothing against anyone personally. You're entitled to enjoy whatever it is you like. I just prefer more depth and nuance in my reading material. I look for stories that are imaginative and sophisticated beyond the surface level. Horror novels. For example, yeah. Oh, well, that's just a misunderstanding then. What? <coughs> I thought you were going to say that manga's for children or something. Like, I don't hear enough of that. You are a child Natsuki, technically and legally. Hmm, maybe. But we both know teenagers hate being called children. Since we've been there before. Yes, I was a teenager six months ago. Fair. So, I was 19. But you know what I mean. But there's plenty of deep manga. I'm not clueless about manga. I've read my own fair share when I was younger. What? Are you serious? How come you never told me? Because I'm past that point in my life, and I really prefer not to revisit it. I prefer more mature things now. Excuse me? Oh boy. Okay, hold on. Can I jump in here? Let's try to keep things subjective. Well... Because if you imply that manga's immature, then you aren't you implying that someone is immature for being into it? I mean... Silence. Just dead silence. <laughs> Before continuing, let me... I'm gonna... The, the Mon Yerky in this is just gone. Mon Yerky is just gone. It was there for like 20 minutes and now it's just gone. Well, maybe it's immature to judge people for having different tastes than you. Natsuki! Oh boy. This is not gonna go well. Stop! Nobody's in the chair! I read Natsuki's manga and Yuri's fantasy. I love them both in their own way! Okay, okay! It's great that you like it, but I still find it boring. Boring isn't subjective. Okay, it bores me. That's subjective. But... Uh, I need to think about... The 
This is ridiculous. Do you see why I didn't want to participate in this? I knew it was just going to make people upset. I'm not upset. Oh yeah, your face totally doesn't show it. Like I said, I don't care what other people think. But I always get the impression that you secretly look down upon me. So I'm glad my suspicions were confirmed. Oof. That's not true at all. You're making assumptions. <sighs> my gosh. You can't blame me for getting defensive when nobody ever has the least bit of respect for the things that I'm into. Okay, that's fair. The only thing I look down upon is when people make fun of me for just being myself and trying to mind my own business. What? Have you looked at- Oh. Whoa. This is going south real quick. You think this is bad? Wait till later on in the main story. Tell me again about respect after calling all of my interests immature. That's actually a fair statement. You can't... Please stop! Oh, boy. Please. You don't mean the things you're saying right now. Um... Let's just be friends. I didn't mean for this to happen. Well, it did. So please don't invite yourself to try and solve other people's problems next time, okay? Ugh. Yuri's piercing words send the club room into a choked silence as she gathers her things. She leaves. Well, whatever Natsuki just said, we did not see it. It was holy it. crap. Okay. Holy crap! I've never heard her sound like that before. She must be so pissed. Well, you weren't very nice either, so... I was just saying. How did this happen? It's my fault. Yuri wasn't wrong. I should have tried to moderate a conflict when... I know how bad I am at dealing with conflicts. Yeah, that's it was a... a really stupid thing for me to do. Great. Monica, good job. You just, you ruined the mon your key. You ruined the mon your key thing I had going there. The mon your key. When, when we're done, just watch the first 20 minutes and you'll get it. <laughs> oh, boy. What, is it all their names combined? Monica's and Yuri's. Anyway. Mon your, how does Monica, the Mon, and the K, and Yuri's name. M O N for Monica, Y U R from Monicuri. Yuri, K from Monica, and I from Yuri. That would be Monicuri then. Deplete the I. That's all then I did. Be Mon Curry. <laughs> 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 All right. Okay, we'll go with that. Mon, it's Curry Mon. It's Mon Curry Mon. It's Mon Curry Mon. <laughs> what did you do when I was talking to my mom? Jesus. You'll find out later. And also, I'll write down what I mean. It, it might be more visibly obvious once I write it down. It's nobody's fault. It wasn't stupid. Club is a nice person. Nobody would have expected this. But I guess we're all felt really sensitive about the things we really love. Yeah. Honestly, she kind of brought it upon herself. Come on, Natsuki. Don't. Like I said, I don't care if you're not into manga, but if you actually look down on other people for it... That's kind of the point I was trying to make in the first place. It's not about sugarcoating things, it's just about recognizing and understanding our differences. Okay, but here's the thing about that. Yuri actually looks down on me. It has nothing to do with her word choice or anything like that. 
So I see what you were trying to do, but I really think the problem here is her. Not just like the way we talk to each other, right? I mean, okay. I wasn't trying to read that, I swear. I was just thinking the same thing. Yuri isn't like that. She's a lot sweeter than you're giving her credit for. I'm sure she'll be reflecting on this. I actually think everyone should. Yeah. It'll be fine. <laughs> Just brush it aside and go have a pizza. I'll figure something out. You better. Wow. Wow. I'm just, like, saying that instinctively. At this point, that doesn't surprise me, Monica. I'm just setting myself up to cause more problems. This wasn't your fault, Monica. Yeah, it was. Uh, not really. Yeah, it was. She tried to solve a problem, and Natsuki and Yuri made it worse. What else is now? I didn't even read that whole thing, but whatever. Thanks. You ask me, it's good that the truth finally came out. Hmm. Because I can just move on now. Oh. Well, what? in that case, Natsuki's a lot more mature than Yuri yeah. is. It's fine. I promise. Let's just get our minds off this, okay? In fact, it's a good opportunity to read some manga. Monica? I meant manga. <laughs> I said maniga, but I meant manga. You hush! The whole the, the whole Monyurki thing is still on the brain for me. I still don't know how you got that. I'll write it. You'll, you'll get it later. I'll write it down for you. Not on that. There's a reason for not on that. I'll write it later. It's so confusing. It won't be once you see how I write it. Anyway. Don't be so mean. I thought I'll you were about... To read manga or whatever you want, but don't be mean to my friends, okay? Sorry. I'm just bitter. Everything will be okay. I mean, I don't have all the answers, but... At least now we're all good people and don't want to hurt each other. This will be a learning experience. Everybody leaves. Next thing you know, you walk out on a fist fight between Yuri and Natsuki. Oh, Monica says that, but her uneasiness is given away by how much she has to force the reassuring tone in her voice. I'm not surprised. This is bound to happen eventually. Natsuki and Yuri have always engaged with each other at least out the least out the of least everyone. out of anyone yeah and this is the reason yeah that as sayori and natsuki proceed to distract themselves with manga monica sighs to herself unable to shake her worried thoughts will the club really have to come to terms with the fact that some members will be incompatible with each other monica just really doesn't want to admit that and she knows sayori doesn't either but for once their solution doesn't seem to be in sight. Eesh. That's rough. That's that's a really bad way to end that, but I guess that's where we're going to have to end it. Pretty good timing, though, too. So, even though you joined us about halfway through, I hope you had fun doing this. Yes, I did. It, it's been a while since the last episode you were in. Anyway, I miss doing Doki Doki, but I've been working a lot, so. Yeah, working a lot, then sick, then working a lot again. But and either way, sleep. yeah, that. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't sit anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Visual novels happen every once in a while, so, you know, might as well. Um, go ahead and take it. I'll finish up. Looks like Aaron is calling us. Uh, if you guys want to check out any other visual novels done on this channel, click the link at the bottom right hand corner, try and take you to that destination, or if you missed any of the stops on this ride, Click the link across my head here, and the train will take you there. In the meantime, looks like I gotta catch up with what they're doing anyway, so this train will be off to its next destination. We hope to catch you guys, though, in another ride. Bye!